What's up you guys, I'm back with another video and in today's video we're going to talk about full stack developer roadmap and how you can actually go ahead and become a MERN stack developer in 2021. So let's get started. Alright, so I know I have made a lot of videos on this topic but you guys keep coming back and asking for more and a lot of you guys have actually messaged me that you know how I've explained to you what you need to do on a high level, on a general level but I have not given you specific action points and courses to take. So in this video, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to lay down a very specific roadmap for you to become a Mern stack developer. You know, what exact projects you'll be working on, what courses that you need to take. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to learn is Git, right? Even before getting into software development, learn Git and GitHub because in order to work with someone on a team and in order to collaborate with other engineers, you need to know how to use a version control system so that you can collaborate with others. So first learn Git and GitHub and also learn Linux command line, right? It goes without saying that if you want to become a software engineer, you have to familiarize yourself with Linux command line. You need to be able to make your way around a Linux system because not just on your local system, but when you're interacting with the server, right? When you're interacting with the cloud system, you will just interact with it via the Linux command line. So it's very important to learn the basics of Linux, right? So in order to learn that, I found a specific course for you from Kayo. It's the Web Developer Essentials Plan, which will teach you about the Linux command line and the Git commands and how you can use Git and GitHub. And it will also give you an overview about the HTTP protocol and about, you know, REST APIs and how they work in general. So even before you get started with the software development process, you get a lot of context on how these things work, right? Because it's very important to learn how the internet works and how the apps and and websites that you use every day work behind the scenes. So this course will give you just that and it's free of cost. So I will leave the link for that course in my description and you can actually go ahead, go to that link, sign up for the course. It's a free course, you know, just do the web developer essentials track. And after that, you'll be able to proceed into a full stack developer course again on Cryo. So what's different about Cryo in my opinion is that they are not just giving you videos, right? For videos, you can look at my channel, you can look at any YouTube channel. There are so many other creators on YouTube who have made very good videos about these concepts. So in my opinion, other video websites who are selling you video courses are not worth it because it's simply paying money for the videos that you can already find on YouTube, right? So it's not worth it in my opinion. So in that sense, Cryo is a very different platform because they're not just about videos, right? They have very well-defined projects. So they will give you actually what project to work on and what feature you need to build in this project. And you actually need to write code for it and build it end to end and deploy it. So I think it's a very good way to learn software development because it's very close to how your actual work is going to be as a software engineer. So let me show you the platform real quick. All right, so if you go to the Cryo website, you can see that it's a project based platform. It has real world tech projects to learn the developer skills and you can see the kind of programs that they offer. So you can see that right now they have two main programs, which is the full stack developer track and the backend developer track. So if you look at their full stack developer track, you can see that it's a Mern stack course and it'll take you completely throughout the process from building the front end of the app, building the back end, and then also deploying it on the cloud. So if you actually log into the platform, you can see this is their platform. If you go to explore, you can see these projects like QPrep, QEats. So as I mentioned before, they have real world projects. So if you look at this one, like QEats, it's a Swiggy or Zomato kind of app. It's a food ordering app for which you will develop the distributed system back end. So definitely good projects, right? You can see QBox, which is like Dropbox, QCart, and all these stuff. So they have very real world projects and they will have very well defined features that you need to implement. They will give you the scaffolding. It will be very much like your real job and you will get real project development experience with which you will learn to become a full stack developer, right? So one of the best things that I found about Trio is that it's a fully web based platform. So you don't need to do any config stuff on your local. You can directly connect to their workspace and work online. They will give you the editor. They will give you the terminal and they will give you a Linux machine for you to work online on the cloud. That's a very good thing that I haven't seen on other platforms. So let's take a look at the workspace. As you can see, I've opened the VS code and this is not my VS code on my system. This is working on their web platform. So you can actually create files here and you know, you can let's start a new file and you can write whatever you want. And the thing is that it's completely online. So it doesn't depend on what kind of computer you have, if you have Windows or Linux or Mac, and you don't need to worry about any config stuff. And I think that's very convenient, right? You don't need to worry about setting up your local settings to match with the course. You can just write your files online. You can save it on your workspace. Then you can deploy it on their cloud. I think they have connected to the Amazon EC2 instances. So everything is running on the cloud. You'll be able to write code, save your projects, run them, and also deploy them directly from there. So I think that's a very unique way to learn, right? You know, you're not just watching videos because I personally think that you have enough of good content for free on YouTube. So definitely do not buy courses on other websites which are selling you video courses, right? Because 
If you just want to watch these videos, watch them on YouTube. It's free and it's going to have the same content. But if you're getting some courses like Cryo, which have actual project based learning and they're giving you this online workspace for you to work on, I think it's definitely worth it to go ahead and pursue their Mernstack course. And as I said before, right, this is a very good way for you to get into software development, you know, learn the Mernstack. And throughout your course, you will also build great projects that you can add on your portfolio. In the end, I think there's a capstone project that you will build entire front end and back end and you'll deploy it on the cloud. So you can use that to get into any sort of tech company which you want so yeah i'm actually collaborating with cryo so i will leave a link in the description for you to get a discount on their paid courses but you can also just take up the web developer essentials track for free it will really help you learn git and linux and familiarize yourself with how software engineers work and if you're really serious about learning the mern stack and becoming a full stack developer you can go ahead and do their full stack developer course and that will really help you kickstart your career as a full stack developer so yeah i'm actually collaborating with cryo on this and i have one of the founders of cryo on this video to tell you guys more about it so hey Ajay, thanks for joining us today. First of all, can you please introduce yourself for the viewers and give us a little bit of background about Cryo? Hi Abhishek, yeah, thank you for hosting me here today. I'm really excited. First of all, congratulations to you and your wonderful channel. Uh, you've recently hit that 20,000 subscribers mark, which is incredible. So it's a testament to the value that you're creating for your users. So congratulations there. Yeah, I'll introduce myself really quickly. So uh, my name is Ajay. I'm one of the founding team members here at Cryo. Uh, before joining Cryo, I uh, worked for a, an IoT startup in California. It was called Nest, uh, and we made smart home products. Nest was acquired by Google, and I continued to be at Google for nearly five to six years before uh, returning to India and getting together with a few friends to work on Cryo, right? Uh, so why Cryo? I've always been very passionate about uh, education. While interviewing many candidates, we actually find that there's a huge uh, disconnect between the skills that they have gained in college versus the skills that are required for them to succeed in a company, right? And they have to go through this long um, training pro program before they can become productive engineers, right? Through Cryo, I got an opportunity to change that, you know, to be part of a team that is changing how aspiring software developers learn skills that are relevant to the industry, right? Uh, there are so many learning platforms out there, okay? We surveyed all of them but most of them are focusing only on cracking the interview, right? Getting you past that gate. They don't really care so much about how much you learn as a developer, right? Uh, and they hand out these certificates which have little value to be honest, right? Uh, so of course, uh, you know, at Cryo, we want to go beyond certificates, uh, beyond the interview as well, right? Can you become a productive engineer? at one of the top tech companies on day one. That's what we've set out to do, right? So can you build a, a product features that are used by millions of people across the world? So that's our focus. That is Cryo's mission, right? Uh, of course, we will also focus on cracking the interview. That is a necessary hurdle, right? You have to uh, pass the bar and get in and then do all the amazing work, right? But we don't want to stop at the interview itself. We want to help create engineers who will build the products that you and I will rave about. Yeah, that sounds great and gives us a lot more context about Cryo, but how do you think it's really different from other course platforms, right? Because today you can find so many coding platforms where you can learn to code online. So how is Cryo different from them? Yeah, you know, that's a good question. Learning through videos, I think, is like learning to ride a bicycle with the balancing wheels on, right? And we all know what happens when those balancing wheels come off, right? You feel great when it's there, but when it's off, you feel... Uh, out of place, right? So on Cryo, it's different. You learn by doing, right? Uh, we throw you in the deep end. If you want to learn to build a scalable web backend in Spring or Node.js, right? Why not start by actually building it yourself and then figuring things out along the way? This is actually how most learning happens anyway. Cryo is similar. See, it's a project-based learning platform where you also have access to mentors who can sort of guide you along the project. They play the role of a tech lead that you would find in a company, right? So they're there to guide you, but they're not doing all your work. You do it yourself, right? So we get you started in Cryo by building real world projects like, you know, a clone of Swiggy or Uber and things like that, right? We give you some scaffolding, which is, you know, skeleton code that you have to first read, you have to understand what it's doing, and then find out what missing pieces are there. And then you go ahead and fill those missing pieces with a considerable amount of code, right? So that is your introduction to product development on Cryo. You go through this learning and building phase at the same time, right? 
So after completing these guided projects, uh, we push the envelope further by giving you a list of requirements and asking you to build products from scratch all by yourself. This is the real deal. Uh, you can't fake it, right? You know your learning is effective when um, you can actually build a project on your own from scratch, right? Uh, so that's how Cryo is a little different from uh, you know pure video-based learning platforms. And like you've said uh, before, right? There's plenty of free and excellent content, including your own channel, right? Uh, of uh, content available for you to learn concepts. Uh, Cryo is where you apply and build something and take it to that next level, right? So it complements that kind of learning and makes it much more effective. Yeah, that makes sense to me as well. In fact, I really love the platform. My favorite thing is the workspace that you've provided, running VS Code online, writing and deploying it from the terminal. It actually makes it very convenient to learn development, in my opinion. But the next most important question that I have for you is, how do you actually help students in placements, right? Because obviously, once they've learned the whole MERN stack and they've learned everything there is to know to become a full stack developer, how do you help the students to actually get a job and what kind of results have you seen so far? Yeah, that's a good point. It's very important, right? Um, you know, a lot of leading tech companies already use Cryo for their learning needs. Uh, every fresher who joins Flipkart actually goes through a Cryo learning program before they can be assigned to a particular team. You know, it can be Flipkart, PhonePay, Visa, Geo, many companies like this, right? They're already using Cryo for all these things. So we've been doing this for more than two years now, and we have a very good understanding of what kind of skills some of these top companies are actually looking for. Uh, in their fresh hires, right? These companies really like our learning programs as well. They like the outcomes. They like how their engineers have ramped up so quickly and so effectively. So they, co they come and ask us, you know, are there other program, uh, other uh, external students who have taken these programs that they can potentially interview and consider for hiring in their own companies, right? And that's one of the reasons why we actually went direct to learners. So you go through our learning program uh, and then we help you upskill. And then you can go ahead and apply to the hundreds of job openings that are um, already available, you know, some good software development roles in some exciting companies. So we currently have two offerings, you know, uh, a backend developer track and a full stack developer track that you've already covered, right? The backend developer track is Java based. We focus on Spring Boot as the stack. And in the full stack, we do uh, JavaScript, React, Node.js. Uh, that is the stack we use. Uh, along with MongoDB and ExpressJS. So that's a MERN stack, right? So we also have a rigorous uh, career prep pack. You know, just having projects is not sufficient uh, to become an effective engineer because you have to crack open those opportunities. So we have a rigorous uh, career prep pack that helps you understand what opportunities are there, how do you apply to them, and then how do you set clear goals and then, um, you know, create a, a realistic upscaling plan in order to achieve those goals, right? So we have plenty of success stories as well. You can check out our LinkedIn page. Uh, we keep sharing these success stories, but I'll give you a few examples. There's Anurag who joined Jumbo Tail last year as a backend developer. He's doing really well. Uh, Amaresh made a transition from a services-based company, right? He, was, he used to write less than uh, 20 lines of code uh, per day, but today he has an exciting core development role uh, that he always wanted, right? Uh, Mylation and Jeevan have backed opportunities in some amazing companies. Rakesh most recently accepted an offer at Blackhawk Networks. Uh, there's plenty of more uh, of these. Uh, so go check out our LinkedIn. Uh, we have several other stories there as well to talk about outcomes and how we help uh, our students achieve those outcomes. Yeah, that's great to hear. I think this is really helpful for the viewers. So thank you for your time, Ajay. And if you have any last words of wisdom or advice that you want to give to the viewers. I think you've already covered quite a bit already. But, uh, you know, I know the, uh, the atmosphere is a little gloom right now, but there are, uh, believe it or not, hundreds of opportunities uh, available right now in startups in just Bangalore alone, right? Uh, there's plenty of hiring going on if you have the right skill. Right. They're all looking for engineers with, you know, Java, Spring Boot, React, uh, JavaScript, Node.js, um, all these things. You, you have to be really good at these things. And then there is an opportunity available for you if you're good, right? There are no shortcuts. Right? People think, you know, you can do a small course and you can somehow fake it. It doesn't work that way. You know, it's uh, very easy to tell. It takes a lot of effort to pick up the skills that these companies are looking for. 
and uh, it's more than effort actually you know you have to put the effort in the right direction uh, that direction is also extremely important so work on your own projects you know side projects are a great way to learn software development i think it's the most effective way to be honest right the projects don't have to be complicated people have this idea that you know some fancy ml and ai it doesn't have to be that complicated start with something simple it can be a simple website where you have implemented the whole thing end to end right something simple and then you keep adding more and more complexity uh, to make it more compelling right um, you can't ignore data structures and algorithms uh, because that is a necessary hurdle and a lot of companies still use data structures and algorithms uh, for their screening grounds yeah i mean uh, it's uh, it's not an easy journey and you know we're here i mean if you ever um, need help navigating this journey and figuring how to achieve your career aspirations then cryo is always here uh, to provide that guidance you need uh, and of course there's people like abhishek giving you some amazing tutorials um, uh, and insights into programming and opportunities as well right so uh, those are some of the things that i would uh, say uh, but in parting you know thanks a lot for having me abhishek it was really an enjoyable conversation uh, all the best to you as well and uh, keep going uh, cheers to the next 20000 subscribers as well right thank you all right so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you like this video and found it helpful if you did smash that like button and leave a comment below if you have any other doubts and don't forget to check out the link in my description to get free access to the web developer essentials course and also get a discount on the full stack developer track so yeah that's it thanks for watching